Good morning and welcome back to Chosen. My name is Stacy. Today we're talking about food and hydration. Our culture jokes about being hangry, but it's a very real thing. If you've gone a long period of time without eating, it can cause you to be grumpy. Our bodies need fuel to keep going. We also need to be hydrated. Did you know that by the time you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated? Lack of food and fluids affect our brain's ability to function properly. It's the same with our kiddos. One of the easiest ways to avoid behavioral meltdowns is to ensure that your children are eating and drinking often enough. This goes for kids of all ages, babies to teens. We're so accepting when a newborn screams for food. But hungry and thirsty kids can often present as children with bad behavior. Children who've experienced trauma often struggle with the ability to feel what their bodies need. The trauma that they have experienced has impacted their ability to identify being hungry or feeling full. So we've got to help them with that. Today, I'm gonna to give you three simple food and hydration rules. The first is the two hour rule. Every two hours, your kiddo needs food and water, preferably healthy food and preferably water, but fluid of any kind is what's important. Use the traffic light system. When my kids were little, I taught them red light, yellow light, and green light foods. I did this around 2002, so I have no idea where this idea came from. It's not mine, but anyway, it worked well. Green light foods include fruits and vegetables, nuts, healthy protein. Yellow light foods have some good stuff in them, but they shouldn't eat them a lot. Think like chocolate covered almonds or chips and salsa. Red light foods are all sugar, grease, processed, etc., or anything that you don't want them to eat. This traffic light system helps your kiddos feel in control and it teaches them what's good for their bodies and what isn't and what's not helpful for their behavior. Green and yellow foods during the day and red as a treat is what you're going for. Sit your kids down and have them sample green light foods so that they can choose what green light foods taste good to them. Make a basket of green light foods so that it's easily available to them all the time. The third rule is hydration. Hydration is better than dehydration. Obviously water is best, but if you have kids who refuse to drink water, it's better to get them drinking something than for them to stay in a state of dehydration, which can cause really challenging behaviors. Dehydrated kids are dysregulated kids. Dysregulated kids have meltdowns, which cause dysregulated parents. One last thing to note on dehydration. Kiddos who are taking medication for behavior and moods in combination with allergy medicine are chronically dehydrated. So if you are parenting a child in that category, please make extra sure that they are hydrated all the time. So today I've given you some simple food rules, but we at Chosen know that food issues are very complex with kiddos who have had hard histories. If you're really struggling in this area with food hoarding or kids not um, knowing when they're full, please don't hesitate to reach out to us today. We love to help parents uh, uncover some of the meaning behind these behaviors and we'd love to help you as well. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. The email is parent, the number two, remember two hours, parent at chosen.care and we'd love to help you out with that today.